Three ways your unconscious mind can convince you to stay single. A lot of people are happily single, as well as being consciously single. But if you are someone who seems to always stay single, even though you would like to find a mate, it's time to take a look into your subconscious. There are some factors that may be affecting your current status. Here are three ways your unconscious mind can convince you to stay single. Before we get to any of that, please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a new video, since that's by far the best way to support the channel. And now that that's out of the way, let's roll the tape. Number 1. The Importance of Physical Attraction when in search of a new partner, we all have some idea of the level of physical attraction we are looking for. Men are far more likely to admit that looks matter when seeking a new partner and that they are only interested in women they are physically attracted to. However, some research was carried out that included speed dating and other experiments. The conclusions from the research showed that women also value attractiveness when searching for a mate as much as men do. Our evolutionary history tells us that we should look for a physically attractive mate, this type of partner being seen as healthy and able to reproduce. This is a preference that really may be stopping you from finding a partner, and a preference that might be pushing you towards life as a long-term singleton. Research also showed that when a couple is physically attracted to one another and they are on the same level of attractiveness, they are much more likely to enjoy a relationship that is happy and long-term. So instead of looking for the hottest man out there, you should try looking for a mate that is on the same level as you, someone that matches your own physical attractiveness. This type of relationship is normally far more stable and will stand the test of time without jealousy rearing its ugly head. Number 2. You are still in love with your ex. Are you guilty of being hung up on an ex? Is there someone that you still think you're in love with or someone that you simply can't forget? Even when you are convinced that you are well and truly over your ex, your subconscious may be telling you something different. Your subconscious attitude may still be looking towards your ex in a favorable light. Researchers that study attitudes that are regarded as implicit, which are unconscious gut reactions, show that when you still have a positive association with your ex, you will have a desire to reunite with him or her. This leads to unhappiness and distress following a breakup. One of the best ways to get rid of this distress, research suggests, is to find a new mate after your breakup. When you are able to move on following a breakup, you won't feel unhappy or become distressed, and rekindling the flame with your ex will be the last thing on your mind, as you will be too busy enjoying yourself and having fun with your new partner. Number 3. Unfavorable Gender Ratio There are many situations where you may be surrounded predominantly by the same sex. These include the workplace or a college campus, and even include online dating sites. With more people of the same sex in your general environment, an unfavorable gender ratio will result. When a woman finds herself in such a situation where there are lots of women, research has shown that she becomes more likely to engage in casual sex and other short-term dating strategies. Interestingly though, when people perceive there to be more men than women in their day-to-day -day lives, both female and male participants said they would be more likely to look for long-term dating options and strategies. When there is a gender imbalance at work, at college, or in another situation, increased level of competition between members of the same sex increase. People also feel that they are obliged to adopt the same sexual strategies as those of the gender majority. However, gender ratio is simply something that people perceive. Although on campus there may be more men than women, the ratio of men to women in the world is actually one to one. The answer then is to take an extra class at college where there are lots of women enrolled, or simply seek out situations where you can meet a mate, where there isn't an imbalance in the gender ratio. So, it is obvious from our findings that your subconscious may be keeping you single, but once you are aware of these influences, you can take control over them and get back into the dating game. 
If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every single time we post a new video, since that's by far the best way to support the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.